what will it be like if we attach a monitor screen directly into a gaming rig? Will a monitor screen like this have any limitation? Like the AIO screen that's quite popular nowadays. How much will a case like this cost? Today, we'll be talking about this casing over here. The first player SP7 Emotion View. A dual chamber ATX casing with a monitor screen attached in the front. So the I.O. for this casing will be two USB 3.0 connected on top, along with a USB Type-C, very nice to see nowadays, power and reset button, and a jack for audio as well as jack for mic. In terms of sizing, the first player SP7 Emotion View measures at 42.5cm in length, 30.8cm in width, and 38 centimeters in height. Now, this makes it actually quite a small casing, especially for an ATX case, as it measures quite similarly to an MATX casing, especially in the height department, where it's actually shorter than some of the MATX out there. Weight of the casing is measured at 7.9 kilograms as well when it's unbuilt. Now, let's move on to the main feature of this casing, and that is the Emotion View Monitor found in the front of this casing. The Emotion View Monitor is essentially a monitor that can act as a primary or secondary monitor and it measures in an inch size of 13.3 inch and with a screen resolution of 768 by 1366 resolution with a refresh rate of 60Hz. It is a normal functioning working monitor so this answers back the first question of this video where is there any limitation in using this monitor? The monitor itself here supports both VGA and HDMI display it will also be using SATA power, so it won't have any external power adapter be found at the back of this casing, making it very clean overall in terms of cabling. Hmm, will I be losing some of my GPU clearance with a screen in front? Well, no actually. Since that the screen is directly flush to the casing, it won't be actually using any additional space and clearance of the GPU. And with the same attribute of all dual chamber casings, you'll be able to fit very large GPU into this casing as well with a GPU clearance limit of 400 mm. This actually means that you can even fit an RTX 4080 into this build without any problem. It's also worth mentioning that this casing also has an included built-in vertical GPU stand. So it's quite nice to see as it is a triple slot vertical stand as well. A riser cable is sold separately, so you will have to get a riser cable from your own side. Going through the cooling performance of this casing, the cooling performance of this casing is good as with a dual chamber setup, it allows for a lot of fan installation into this case with three 120 fans able to be supported at the top and bottom of this casing and it can also support two 140 at the top and bottom. It can also support two 120 or two 140 mm fans at the side here as well that's generally used as intake and you can put one more 120mm fan at the back of this casing totaling it to 9 fans in total now other than the fans clearance for air cooling support on this casing is quite good as well and it is rated to support air coolers of up to 180mm basically almost all of the air coolers that's in the market right now a dual chamber setup should always be paired with an AIO to show off how your build looks and for that this casing has very good radiator support as well it'll be able to handle a 360 radiator at the top and bottom however we won't recommend a 280 mm radiator at the top even if it can as it will likely have some clearance issue with your ram the side of this casing is able to support a 240 and a 280 mm radiator from the side and the back will be able to support a 120mm radiator if you prefer it that way as well. A magnetic dust filter can be found at the bottom of this casing as well. The SP7 Emotion View is able to fit two 2.5 inch drive as well as two 3.5 inch drive at the back of the casing. By putting different drives, the configuration of the drives and the number of drives will also change for this casing. Now what I mean by that is that the drives are fitted into the cable management bar at the back of this casing with the top and bottom of the bar able to fit two 3.5 inch drives and a middle location being open to 
uh, SSD or 2.5 inch drive. If you intend to put two 2.5 inch drives, you'll be using the space of the 3.5 inch drive instead. So that means if you intend to use two SSD in your system, you won't have any space available for 3.5 inch drives or hard drives in this case. So the max out configuration you can have for this setup should be two hard disks along with two, one 2.5 inch SSD in the middle. So keep that in mind when you're expanding your storages in this casing. A benefit of a dual chamber setup really starts to shine here as you have a lot of space, ample amount actually, for you to put all your cable at the back of the casing here. The case is also rated to support ATX power supply up to 200 mm so it can fit a lot of different power supply cases. We do recommend to try to keep your power supply length up to 150 mm plus minus only. This is because if you do put in a 200 mm power supply, it will be quite tight at the back and you'll be likely using the space of your hard drive positions there. So you might have to sacrifice a hard disk space if you're going for a 200 mm power supply. You might think that it's a gimmick to have a screen in front of your casing. And yeah, there's some element to that in this, but there's actually quite a number of good use cases of having a secondary screen that's well, built right into your casing. If you're a Twitch streamer or anyone who just likes to stream, say maybe on Facebook or YouTube, that's quite popular nowadays. If you're playing a full screen game, it's actually quite easy for you to read the chat on the side of your casing right here since you have a second monitor basically to display anything that your commenters might be saying. Another use case that I can think of that I myself experienced recently is that while I was researching uh, doing things for reviews recently, the reviews easier since I can put all my research notes on the side of this casing here while not affecting the main screen that I have over here. Personally, I think it allows for a lot of flexibility on what you want to do. It's always nice to have just an extra screen in our setup and this won't eat up any space. So that's always something very nice. I guess for myself, it's just quite fun to have another screen in front of your PC as you can put different wallpaper like us right here by using Wallpaper Engine. We can put animated wallpaper and it just personalized the build even further by having what you like displayed in front of your computer. Always a very fun touch. The black version of this will be costing 539 ringgit whereas the white of this will cost 10 ringgit more. And for that pricing, I would say it's actually not too bad and I would even go to say it is quite worth it. Not just you're getting quite a nice and premium looking dual chamber ATX casing, you'll also be getting one with a screen in front of it, which is quite fun. This case has quite an ample amount of space to put all your fans, as well as even an RTX 40 series graphic card in without much hassle. Now, before you go, however, we actually like to announce that we are doing a giveaway for this casing. This exact one right here actually, but just for the casing though, not the components inside. We're doing it for the whole Malaysia. Sorry anyone that's not living in Malaysia, we're not doing international shipping yet. You just need to tag two of your friends on the Facebook post of this video, which we'll post and give us a reason. Why would you like to walk away with this casing? A minimum of 20 participants will need to be uh, doing in the giveaway for us to properly count who will be the one who wins this casing. And you can always PM us at our Facebook page, Tech5 Production as well, or leave a comment below at our YouTube video. And that's all from us today. Thank you very much. Stay safe and goodbye. We hope you get this casing. It's fun.